Hey guys, and welcome back to Pro Speed Baseball. Today we have the inside out drill, or what I like to call the Derek Jeter drill. And I call that because he's the, the king of staying inside the ball and swinging out and swinging inside out. And uh, this is for all you guys out there that have a tendency to ha have longer swings. Now, I want to say real quick, I know this is a drill that you've seen a lot before, but it's not really explained real well as far as how you can cheat to do this drill. This, this drill is the one where you bring the tee on the inside and you stand really close to it and you try to hit balls back through the middle and the point is to try to get your hands inside so that you shorten up your swing. Now there are a few ways that you can actually cheat this drill and you won't actually be helping your swing and you're still going to have a long swing if, if you're cheating this drill. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what those cheats are and the first one and I say this in a ton of my videos is when you overload these shoulders and you bury the hands behind the body. And now the body is between the, the hands and the path to the ball. So now we have to over rotate the hit. Now that's, uh, that's something that, that, that's a big flaw for when the ball's being pitched. But for this drill, it can actually be beneficial to execute it properly or technically properly by hitting the ball where we're trying to hit it, but we're sacrificing our mechanics. So if I rotate my shoulders in, I've pretty much lined up my body now to hit it out towards right field. So now I can really easily stay inside the ball and hit it over that way, but that's not how I want to swing in the game. We don't want to overload that body because we're going to get killed on anything that's on the inside and then anything on the outside, it's going to be super hard to time up. So what we're going to do when we set up this drill, we're going to make sure that we, we we're, this, this is going to be a really severe inside pitch and we're gonna make sure that our shoulders don't over rotate. So this is gonna be really, really tough for you guys at first. It's really gonna force you to work your hands through the zone. So what you're gonna do is make sure that these hands stay in front of that toe line that I talk about a lot. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna really make sure they stay in through that zone and we hit it out to right field. Now, you see I took a really easy swing there. So what we, that's what we always wanna start when we're learning something new or we're working on something we're struggling with. We wanna start off slow and work our way up to full speed. Now, the second cheat that we can do in this drill is just that. We only practice it where we're going really slow. We just hit it back through the middle, but then when we go to full speed, we're back to the, old, the same old thing. That's just very simple how the mind works and how the mind's gonna teach you how to do things. You have to start doing this drill a little bit quicker, a little bit quicker. So. If I, if I speed this up a little bit, and I'll roll over one here on purpose, if I speed this up a little bit and I pull it, I'm thinking, okay, I need to back off just a little bit, slow down, get back up here, just slow it down just a little bit, and make sure that my hands stay back through the middle of the field. And then I want to say, okay, now I got a good feeling for that one, and then I'm going to try to speed it up again. And then this time, I take that same feeling and speed it up just a little bit more. And you can see now that I got that feeling, now that's what we want to do. We want to be able to do this drill full speed off the tee. I don't like to do a whole lot of drills full speed off the tee because it's not moving. But for this one, if we're trying to shorten up our swing, it's key to work all the way up to full speed and not just stay in that comfort zone where we're going a little bit slower and getting the ball to go in the direction we want it to go. Now guys, the key thing you want to focus on in this drill is to make sure that your hands always stay in front of the toe line through the whole drill. I know and I know it's going to make it a lot tougher and that's that's what we want. We want it to be a little bit tougher, but it's going to really pay off for you in the end. Make sure you're doing it a good 50 times a day. 50 swings and progressively work up to 50 full speed swings. And once you can get 50 full speed swings with this, then you're good to go. You can throw it into about 10 or 15 swings into your warm up routine where you, you crowd yourself and you just smoke them back up through the middle, maybe a little to the right. And, you'll, and this is really gonna help you start developing that compact, powerful swing that we all want and help you get rid of the long, loose, ugly one. Now, I, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, stay tuned. I'm gonna play a bonus clip out of one of the videos in our power hitting series. If you click on the link that pops up in the preview or in the description below, you can see that whole series absolutely free of charge. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, leave them in the, the comment section below. I'll be sure to answer them personally. Like the video, subscribe. That really helps me grow the channel. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thanks for your support, and we'll see you guys soon. We're going to take our hands, and we want to bring them back in front of our body. If we were having a line right down our feet, and our feet are dead square, we can imagine a wall coming right up out of that line in front of our face. And what we want to do is keep our hands in front of that wall 
at all times. They should never get behind this wall at all. Some of your better hitters will stay in front or get right on this wall, but they never go behind the ball. So if you watch them from down the line, you'll see that their hands stay in front of their body the whole time, and now they're able to go from point A to point B and get as solid a contact as possible to hit home runs. So what we're going to do to work on this,